determine the DC bias voltage VC and the current IC for the voltage divider configuration using the exact analysis. So if you look at the figure, uh, it is the same problem which we have uh, solved earlier, but the only difference is that instead of beta, uh, it was 100 in the previous problem. Now the beta value has been changed to 50. Okay, so kindly go through the previous problem, but still I am going to repeat the same calculation again, even though we get uh, the value for Thevenin sequence circuit as uh, same uh, parameters. Okay, so let us begin with, we have to uh, find out, it's, it's an exact analysis, right? So in the case of exact analysis, we are going to convert it into a Thevenin sequence circuit. So I am going directly to the formula. What will be your RTH? RTH will be equal to R1 parallel to R2. Now what is your R1? R1, R1 is equal to 39 kilo ohm, 39 kilo ohm into what is your R2? 3.9 kilo ohm divided by 39 kilo ohm plus 3.9 kilo ohm, right so you will be getting approximately equal to 152.1 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 42.9 into 10 raised to 3 so which will be approximately equal to RTH will be approximately equal to 3.545 kilo ohm. This will be the value for RTH. Now, uh, what will be your uh, ETH? ETH will be equal to voltage division rule, right? So, you will be getting R2 into VCC divided by R1 plus R2. So, what is your R2? 3.9 kilo ohm into what is your VCC? VCC is equal to 22 volt divided by 39 kilo ohm plus 3.9 kilo ohm, which is same, right, as the previous formula. So what is 3.9 into 22? You will be getting approximately equal to 35.8 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 42.9 into 10 raised to 3, which is same. So, while solving, you will be getting ETH will be approximately equal to 2 volt. Okay. So, now you have got the value for ETH. Now, you, you have to calculate the value for IB. What will be your IB? IB will be equal to ETH minus VB divided by RTH plus beta plus 1 into RE. So, here you will be having the difference that is the beta value will be 50. So what will be your uh, parameter values? Uh, 2 volt minus VB is equal to 0 0.7 divided by R, what is your RTH? 3.545 kilo ohm into 10 raised to 3, right? Then plus beta is equal to 50. So 50 plus 1, 51 into what is your RE is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm, okay? So now you will be getting, while solving, you will be getting IB is equal to approximately equal to 1.3 volt divided by 3.545 into 10 raised to 3 plus 76.5 kilo ohm. Okay. So IB after solving, you will be getting approximately equal to 16.24 micro ampere. Okay, now once you have found, found uh, IB, you know that what will be your IC? IC will be equal to beta into IB. So beta is equal to 50, 50 into IB is equal to 16.24 microampere. So what will be your IC? IC will be equal to 0 0.81 milliampere. Okay. Now, what will be your uh, next parameter? You have to find out is VC. VC is equal to, you know, the formula VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So, what is your, uh, there is no difference. Uh, 22 volt minus IC is equal to 0 0.81. Yeah, IC will vary now, right? 0 0.81 milliampere into RC is equal to, what is the value for RC? 10 kilo. RC is equal to 10 kilo. 
plus R is equal to again 1.5 kilo. So you will be getting 20, uh, you will be getting approximately equal to after solving VCE will be approximately equal to 12.69 volt. So you have got the value for IC is equal to 0.81 milliampere and VCE is equal to 12.69 milliampere. So when you compare both the result of the previous problem, you can see that the value is when the beta is decreased, there is a slight decrease in the ICQ and VCE value. 